And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Go, 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 go. Hello, and welcome to the Just Ask Joey podcast. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you will find a self-described former idiot answering your questions to help you avoid idiocy or get over idiocy, if that may be the case. Um, Today's question is a big one, and it's a very serious one, too. So I take uh, I take all these questions really seriously. This one's a pretty big one. Uh, I'm not sure if your an- my answer will surprise you or not, but here it is. So a guy wrote me and said, I found out that my girlfriend cheated on me. What do I do? Now, I think what you do is pretty straightforward. What they do is kind of 50-50. It's totally up in the air. So what I think you should do, I think you need to tell her that you know, that you found out. doesn't matter how you found out. doesn't matter if she slipped up and... You saw something on her phone. Doesn't matter if you were going through her emails. I mean, if you're going through her emails, there's already trust issues anyway, so you got to deal with that. But tell her you know. Tell her, look, I know you cheated on me. And then wait and see what they say because they're going to have they're going to have two responses. One reaction is going to be, oh, I messed up. I got to figure this out. I don't know why I cheated. I, you know, I care about you. I want to work things out and they admit it and they take blame for it or they blame you. And I've heard a lot of cases actually where people, the, the, the person who's actually cheating will blame the person for looking through their phone, totally disregarding the fact that they're, they were cheating. So they're either going to blame themselves or they're going to blame you. So I would, I would think that you would want them to blame themselves um, because that's really where the fault lies. It, it doesn't really matter what kind of a relationship you're in. If you cheat, it, it's your fault. You're either not looking at your relationship realistically or you're getting yourselves into relationships that, that you're not happy with that is causing you to go out and, and cheat. So it really comes down to, to you. And that's kind of the theme so far. I know this is only episode four, but but pretty much the theme is whatever situation you find yourself in, it's you, you put yourself there. You put yourself there, but you can also get yourself out. It's, it's being realistic about who you are and having enough self-awareness to realize you got yourself there and realize that you have the power to get yourself out. So in this situation, with, with option one, what's her reaction going to be when you tell her that you found out that she's cheating is she's going she's gonna to take the blame. And she's going to take the blame and she's going to want to figure stuff out. She's going to want to get to the bottom of it. She's going to want to discuss stuff with you that she probably hasn't discussed with you. The, the, the reason you're coming out and telling her that you know is because you want the truth to be out there. You want, you want to react realistically to what the situation really is. You can hide the information, but that's not going to get, the, that's not going to get it out there. And maybe they keep cheating. Maybe it's something that maybe they don't know why they're cheating. Maybe they don't know what what the the connection is between between your relationship and them cheating. Maybe it has nothing to do with you. I know for a lot a lot of cases, it really doesn't have anything to do with the person they're with. People like to blame the person they're with to make themselves feel better, but really it comes down to, you know, you're just being an asshole. And being a former asshole, I I totally I totally understand being in a situation where you get yourself in a situation and you don't know even know what the hell you're doing there. It's like you just you're you're completely pulled out of of who you who you are, who you feel you are, and you're in situations where you're like I I don't even know I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And by you telling them the the truth that you know, you give them that option to look at it honestly because they're obviously not looking at it honestly up to this point. They're obviously looking at it as somehow it's okay. Somehow they're justifying their actions, being a, being a jerk off to, to you, being a jerk off to, to them. Hopefully you don't have kids because then they're being jerk off to kids. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a big mess and this allows it 
to be uh, put in the light so people can see. And a lot of times people hide their secrets in the dark because they don't even really want to look at them. They know it's ugly. They know it's disgusting. And they don't want people to see, so they hide it. But when you hide it, when you lie about it, you're not ever really dealing with it. So this gives you the opportunity to give them the opportunity to just kind of come clean and, and be honest about the situation. And you guys can have a real heart to heart. Now, if you guys decide to split up after that, maybe she, you know, maybe she's not happy, that's fine. Or maybe she, she is happy and she's just an idiot and doing weird stuff. And then you can discuss that and figure that out. Maybe it's therapy. Maybe it's breaking up. Maybe it's couples therapy. Maybe it could be any number of things. But the fact is you have to pull that out into the light and let her know so she can deal with it honestly. So you don't have to carry that around with you that you know she's cheating, but that's so she can keep, look at it honestly and she can treat it honestly and she can take the steps that she needs to figure it out because at, up to this point, she's not being very realistic about the situation because if you're cheating, something's wrong. Something's wrong with the cheater. And if you're cheating right now, if you're one of the ones out there cheating right now, there's something wrong with you and you need to figure it out. It's not your partner. It's not this new person, whoever that, that person is, it's you. You have issues that you need to deal with. And the only way to really deal with those is to be honest. So option two for the person, for this, for this female, is that she'll blame you. And that's pretty much the worst thing because in my estimation, that issue is never going to get fixed. There's a serious issue there. And if they're not going to admit it, how are you ever really going to fix it? You're, you're not. Um, people blame, oh, you don't treat me right. Oh, you don't pay enough attention to me. Oh, why are you looking through my phone? Or, oh, why are you looking through my emails? Why are you, why are you accusing me of something? And if they start doing that, all they're doing is they're protecting themselves. They already are showing you signs that they don't really give a crap about you. They're already not looking at you in the correct light because they're cheating in the first place. Now they're trying to protect themselves because really the alternative, the two alternatives are either I'm an asshole or you're an asshole. And people generally tend to focus outward and would rather blame you and say you're an asshole than have to really look at themselves and say that they're assholes. And you giving her this opportunity, this truth, this freedom. I mean, she can be free of all her lies right right here. And being free of your lies is a pretty amazing feeling. And if she chooses to deflect it, and she chooses to not take the opportunity to tell the truth, and she blames you, or she blames whatever, my relationship with my dad, my relationship with my mom, my ex-boyfriend, my what, whatever. If she's, take, if she's not taking the blame, if she's putting the blame on anybody, whether that be you or her parents or her grandparents or whoever, her aunt, whatever. If it's not, if the blame is not placed on her, by her, not by, obviously you're blaming her because you're the one getting cheated on. But if she's not taking the blame, your relationship's kind of screwed because they're not really going to look at it correctly. And if they don't look at it correctly, they'll never, they won't really understand why they're cheating. And there's always a reason for cheating. There's never a good reason for cheating, but there's always a reason. And find out what that reason is and get to the bottom of it. So then you can fix it and you can remedy it. And then you can move on as a couple. You, you guys can work on your relationship. Um, Cause she's not going to want, if she, if she blames you, she doesn't even want to, she doesn't want to deal with the issue. She doesn't want to deal with her shortcomings. And I guarantee that if she's not dealing with this shortcoming with you confronting her with this being a pretty big deal, because it messes up relationships and lives and stuff that there's probably a whole bunch of other stuff they're not dealing with either. And you it's not really a person you really want to deal with. This is your opportunity to find a better person. So it, it'll be, it may hurt and it will hurt, but it could be like one of those things where it's like a real, a real, uh, blessing in disguise. Um, one thing that's really important is don't let fear guide your decision here. You're, it's going to be a confrontation and a half you confronting her and it's going to be intimidating and it's going to be heated and it's going to be scary no matter which way, whether she's option one and takes the blame or she's option two and blames you either way. It's going to be, there's going to be some like serious tension and you may feel the need to just avoid the tension, just kind of sweep it under the rug, hope it goes away, but it won't go away. So deal with it now, 
It's like the Band-Aid thing. Just rip the Band-Aid off. It's going to sting for a little bit, but then it's over and you can, and you can move on. Um, you can't go through life with a flawed partner. You can't, you can't let the fear of being single or the fear of losing whatever it is you guys built together. Some people have cars and, or houses or kids or whatever. You, you have to confront it. And it's really going to be their decision what happens with your relationship because they could cheat and they could take the blame and then they could figure it out. And you guys have an amazing relationship after that because you called her on it and because she was able to look at herself and her actions seriously and then fix them. And then you guys could have a great relationship after that. Um, It could go the other way too. And I think that's what you're really afraid of because I'm sure you want them to stop cheating. That would be kind of odd especially if you're the one asking this question, that'd be kind of odd to uh, want them to keep cheating. So you want them to get over it, but you're afraid. I mean, there's breakups suck. Breakups suck. Breakups are hard even in crappy relationships because you have to move or you have to pack your stuff up and you have to throw away pictures and you have to go through the relationship over and over again as you're, as you're cleaning their stuff out. And, so, and it, it's hard. It's difficult. But you can't let fear guide you. You have to let the right thing to do guides you. Let the light guide you. Head towards the light. Follow the light. Follow the light. Because that's where the truth is. And you need the truth. They need the truth more than you need the truth. And they need to to deal with it um, honestly. Option one, things could be amazing. Option two, you got to cut bait. Um, As with everything in life, you have to own your actions or your actions are going to own you. Whatever situation you find yourself in, you put yourself there. Whatever hole you dug, guess who's holding the shovel? You are. But you can dig yourself right out of it. At any point, you can turn stuff around. Whether you are the cheater in this situation, go with the truth, follow the light, get everything out in the open, and change. And if you are being cheated on, Give that person that you care about the opportunity to change and be the person that you know that they can be and that they should be. So, hope that clears it up. This is kind of a big topic, so if you if you want to um, discuss it more, you can snap me, hit me up on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, um, comment in the pages here. I'm available to just kind of discuss this stuff more. I know this is a kind of a big topic, so... I expect to get some some pretty good responses from it. So if you have any questions, again, Snapchat, Twitter, you can hit me up on Instagram and look at pictures and ask me questions that way. Um, or hit me up in the comments here. Uh, I love getting these questions. I love helping helping you guys out. And and I think that that when we come together and we share our experiences and we share our, our missteps and we share how we corrected those missteps and moved on. I think we can do a lot of good. So I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are too. I'll talk to you soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black and gold.